I know that what I'm about to ask from you is hard and <laughs> it's a little weird. But if you allow yourself to be vulnerable for even a second, I promise you that no one can hear you or see you, not even me. So just take a moment, breathe, be honest, and just listen to what I'm telling you. I know that things have been hard. I know that even before isolation started, things were hard. And I can't even imagine what you're going through now. But I know that you felt alone, exhausted, confused. Like what you did doesn't matter. Like what you do will just never be enough. You feel defeated. And it feels pointless. And I am sorry. I am so sorry that all of our plans, all of the things we were looking forward to, are last year just taken from us. That you've had to grow too quickly, that you've had to experience tragedy, and that you've given up. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But here's the truth. You are strong. You are resilient. You've experienced something nobody ever has. <laughs> and you're right. You're right, what you did doesn't matter. What matters is what you're doing to move forward. Whether you're going to college, whether you're staying home, <laughs> that matters. Whether you're staying close to home, or you're moving across the country, that matters. Celebrate all the little accomplishments. Those matter. Time waits for nobody. Our time is up. High school is up. And there's nothing we can do to change that. There's nothing we can do to change what happened. But we can change how we let it look like this. Whatever it is that's holding you back, that's unmotivating you, that's hurting you, just let it go. Let it go, leave it behind. All those things, all those what ifs, those could have been, those should have been, just let them go. Let them go. Because we're here now. You're here now. Let them go. Because I am so proud of you. I am so proud of you. I've seen all the work you've done. I've seen all the struggles you faced. I see you. And I'm so proud of you. We did it. We made it. And see.